Now, Prakete Wuru Taifito, old woolen blankets, the too precious to get rid of. Kanui te mahana, they're really, really warm, they're really colourful, and they remind me of home. So, I found a great way of turning old woolen blankets into throw cushions with an individual twist. we me. All we need is Nga Prakete Wuru Taifito, old woolen blankets, Uru Nga Roto, Kunga Miarahi. Large cushion inners, nga kuti kuti, nga pine, scissors and pins, he mihi di tui kakahu, sewing machine, he poraka huka huka, he mara mara rako, foam block or off cut, fabric pen, wool rovings, gripper studs and hammer, felting needle, he hayada and iron. He mahi paareka reka tēnei, he mahi mama, a he mahi mongarea ngā katoa. This is such a fun craft, it's really easy, and anyone can do it. Ko te mahi tuatahi, the first thing we need to do is make the cushion cover. The cushion inner is 56 by 56 centimetres, so I'm going to measure out 58 centimetres so that the cushion's got some little leeway around the edges, so we can fit it in as well. Just making sure that the cushion's going to fit. Ko te wā tapahi tēnei, so now it's time to cut out our cover. When cutting out your cover, use proper sewing scissors, not kitchen scissors or auntie scissors, sewing scissors. Ooh, I've just fold my cushion in half. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to pin my seam along the edges. One side is going to be the bottom, and the other side's going to be the top where the cushion goes in, and I won't be sewing up that side, of course, so I can get the cushion in. Now just use a sewing machine. Luckily my machine has a blanket stitch pattern on the dial. So two of the open sides leaving a three millimetre seam. <coughs> Kahu huia. So I've found a pattern, a feathered pattern. Some kōru's in it. And I'm going to put it on an angle. All I'm going to do now is trace it onto the front of the cushion. Whakaurua te pōraka huka huka. So now all we have to do is insert foam. So just lay them underneath the pattern for extra strength. I think I'm going to put this one right down the middle as well. I got this foam from Power Rubber. They were just off cuts and they were like only a dollar each, so kapai. Now, the huru huru. This is called dry felting or needle felting. Get a good pinch of wool roving and start poking it with the felting needle. I really like this tool. It's because it's got eight needles all up in this. Be careful, kia tupa tool, that you don't needle your fingers, though. Keep the needle vertical. You don't want to break it. You will see the wool fibres felting together with the blanket. When all the loose fibre has been incorporated, you can grab another pinch of wool and keep going. Whakakīngia ngā kōhau iti me ngā āputa. Fill in any small holes and gaps by just felting more wool into it. And there you have it. I think our feather has evolved from a huia feather to a tui feather with all these beautiful power looking colours. All I'm going to do now is use steam to felt the wool even more. Put a clean dry cloth over the top and use the hot steam from the iron that will just felt the fibres together even more. Koya koya, and there you have it. Looks so cool. There's the front, and we've got the stripes at the back. Praikete Wuru Taifuto old woolen blankets, been revived again, and they can live on for another hundred years.